This is the reading for Virgo couples. I'm trying to do these readings to gain some kind of compassion and understanding to what they might be going through. Some scenarios for couples kind of tips into what may be hidden underneath the lives or veils of these people's lives. So hopefully help some people uh, gain some insight to their partners in a new way. So I'm going to start with the Virgos on the female side. I chose three character cards, then I'm going to go through three love, and then through the sex and just kind of sum it all up. And then maybe give some tips for the, the couples out there. Now the first card I get is Eight of Cups. So the Virgo female may be in a position where they are leaving something behind. Something that they put a lot of work and effort into. Um, <clears throat> obviously dealing with relationships, it may be that situation. We may have had uh, Virgo walk away from something they invested a lot of time and energy into. The next card that I get is the Three of Swords, which if you are leaving a relationship, that would be the card uh, that would come next. Basically, heartbreak and disappointment and um, kind of like a little bit of anguish that going through there. So I feel like the definite ending here is what's going on. The last card I get for the character is the Ace of Wands. So there's a fiery energy here waiting to create something new, though we are still in heartbreak mode and turning your back and heartbroken over it. There's going to be some time here I feel that's going to have to elapse before we get into that fiery mode, but we'll see. When we go into the love sector, it says receive with love and appreciation. Receiving something lovingly from others is a way of showing love. So, um, if we have a relationship that's on collapse here, or someone has turned away from, or been turned away, but I feel like it, this is for the females, so they're turning their back on a situation they invested a lot of time in. So I feel like it's not just easy to do that. You know, this is something that they've got a lot of cups behind them. and <clears throat> So it wasn't an easy decision, but nonetheless had to be made. Receive with love and appreciation. There may be, and this is in the love sector, doesn't necessarily have to be from a companion. I feel like there is some, some loving that needs to come your way. Not necessarily from a new partner and not from the old partner, but there may be some discussions that have to pass. So you have to be in a position where you are ready to appreciate receiving something lovingly. You have to be in a position to receive with love and appreciation. So there may be some talks that need to happen between the, the couple themselves that have to be dealt with, really. Things that have to be um, accepted and appreciated. But I don't feel that's going to come too quickly. But The next card I get for love is miracles and blessings. Everything has its gift. And that's kind of like the, you know, silver linings. Kind of a chaos feeling here an ending, a, a depleted depression feeling here, but nonetheless, you know, be thankful for what the things that you do have in your life that are going well. It may not be the relationship, which of course when you're in it or out of it, it feels um, very much a whole, whole world kind of view. So you have to kind of take that apart and, and jump into a position where you're thankful for your blessings and maybe that's not one of them, but you need to look in the direction where there are blessings. So the next card I get in the love area is the only thing that is real is love. So shift your focus from the problem back to love. So this is interesting. Now if we've had a situation, and I mean it's pretty clear cut here, we have an ending. Someone walked away and even though there's dejected and there's feelings that are, you know, overwhelming, it is the end nonetheless. And yet there's a, a fiery wand there waiting to start anew. You need to, th to realize that eventually you have to shift back to the love sector. I think that's basically what it's stating. So a little bit of time to pass here. Now on the sex side of things, we have the Five of Cups, which is basically an offer of love that is kind of being disinterested. So you may have a situation where you're... Uh, being offered a relation, you know, part in a relationship and your heart's not in it. You're thinking about what you just had lost. It's just too soon. 
uh, but there's someone there kind of not clawing at you but someone who's interested in offering uh, on a lighter sense you know like kind of <clears throat> and it may be because it's right here with uh, below the receive love with appreciation receive with love and appreciation sorry so you have to be wary and I'm getting a sense there's a misunderstanding here I think this person feels that you are farther along than you're letting them in on so you have to be aware to be honest and grounded and rooted with that so <clears throat> that seems to be there's an offer here a physical affection and it's just kind of a disinterest and then we move on to the six of Pentacles which really relies on the woman standing or sitting there drowning her sorrows it's like she's drinking and you know and of course the apples cut in half and sewn back together so it's like she's got a heart that's not quite mended you know so just really playing past this card and then next card we have is the eight of pentacles yike so basically there's there's going to be someone here a physical opportunity it may be with your partner um, that you have broken ties and there's someone that is really uh, there to offer you love and physical affection in the bedroom, yet there's really a reluctance to even in, indulge in it, never mind enjoy it. So, pretty straightforward. It's interesting though, we have the love sector, it's like keep your, keep your eye, you know, don't go away from love, because there's love there. But it seems like you're just not you're not interested. So maybe uh, my tip to the Virgo female would be to really um, step up and be honest about your feelings. If you need time to digest this, then do that. If it's a relationship that ended, then do so. Deal with that before you get into another. It seems like another relationship is here, but you're just not being honest and upfront. Uh, even though you know the partner may be good you're not utilizing it to the best of your ability in the bedroom or out there's a, a focus here on what's wrong rather than what's right and you need to if you need to be in that mode you need to do that alone rather than try and invite a partner and it's just not going to work so for anyone trying to get in on the Virgo female uh, a side of things, I think you just need to be patient and give them some time whether or not I feel like there's going to be an infusion of partners before this gets settled or there may be avoidance of really wanting to feel this out but yet taking that into account and knowing that that needs to be dealt with is really more important than jumping into another relationship and arming that person and possibly not getting the depth that you need to get from that so Virgo females they need to be given time and space to deal with the relationship they're clearly I feel like it's very obvious it's just you know maybe the person in there um, she is being deceiving to the person that's coming in saying no no I'm okay but truly her heart is is breaking so she needs to uh, be true to that and it's, to a certain extent it is I feel that there's a, a sense here that just not wanting to deal with that. So as we move on to the Virgo male, we start with the wheel. And the wheel is, of course, all of those things that flip good cycles and bad cycles and how they shift within. Um, that is the first card. <laughs> it is, overall, it's a good sense that I'm getting from it. The next card um, is the Ten of Cups, so family life enjoying all of the emotional feelings that you can within you know the family unit I mean the ten of cups is really about a family unit so a lot of these Virgo males are in a position where they're grounded and rooted in a family base and then <clears throat> the, the last card we get for their character is strength so feeling a strength within the family and and having fateful things appear so we'll just dive into the love and romance see where that fate comes in on the love side of things the first card is get to know each other learning to meet another's need for love is important for a relationship to grow so I feel like that is a constant for the couples I feel like for the dating that's very important dive deep into find out what you know dig a little deeper I feel like on the dating scene the Virgos may not be 
in the mode where they're really wanting to give up too much of their secrets. And by secrets, I mean just anything about them in a personal way. And you really have to do that in order to gain compassion from your partner because if you feel very on the surface of things, that's really where the heart will lie as well. So the next card I get is have patience. Love is patient and kind always. With a cute picture of a, of a child looking into the river, sitting on a lotus plant. For the ones that are in relationships, I feel things are going good. So the patience, I'm not too sure where it fits in here, but I'll move on. But for the singles, uh, have patience. It's always just really waiting for those things that line up with you. And I feel like um, a lot of the message here and about have patience is don't accept things that don't ch that are not checked off on your list. And though that is kind of like being fussy or whatever, but I feel like maybe these Virgos in the past have been doing that, have not been really looking at their checklist. They've just been accepting what's coming forward and a lot of lessons have been learned, but there's a lot of things that they could have maybe been advanced to if they would have really had the patience to say, no, I'm not going to accept that. And not only just a relationship, but things within the relationship that have gone bad. Just uh, kind of not really talking about it. So that's an expansion, uh, too, on getting to know each other. Just do it, do it better this time for the singles. Go out there and say your piece and give a little bit of yourself to that person and don't be scared of the of backlash because that's what they're saying is backlash like there's going to be some backlash because of it so open that up and you'll be rewarded for it the next card i get love who you are you're a divine and wonderful person deserving all of the wonderful things life has to offer so there might be a sense of self worth here that is a little hidden from <laughs> from you in dealing with it and from others for you not being boisterous of it which is kind of a good thing I think but you need to love who you are without being cocky about it you need to be self-assured not self-ish or you know in that way so I think that you have you can have a good balance with that but you just maybe have to look and work more to see where that lies and that that's what you can do over that time you have to be patient is look and work for those qualities that you need to take outward. Now on the sex side of things, for Virgo males we have the Hermit, which symbolizes the, we have this man sitting there watching a candle go out and then a couple in the background. So it's almost like, there's another card in, uh, that's similar to this, like an onlooker, but this guy's really not paying attention to the couple. He's kind of really paying attention to the candle which symbolizes to me, yeah, I want to be alone, I want to be disconnected, I want to take a break. So for the singles that may have come out of relationships, it's like, yeah, I don't, I don't want to be a part of that. It's nice and all, but not right now. It's like the timing's off, things aren't, I just want to be by myself. And so this is the patient part of things, is and going inside and doing the right things during that time will help come out of that. So symbolizing basically a stagnant sex life because there's just not a willingness to participate you know maybe not partnered and if you're partnered it may be that you just kind of not not wanting to you're not feeling like you want to engage in the sexual side of things at this point you've got everything that you want and everything's figured out but you're you're you may be worried more about getting to know your partner on a deeper level emotionally than physically now the next card we get is the Queen of Cups, which is interesting. I mean, either way you look at it, the guy is indulging and she is, is absolutely being compassionate of that. So it seems like there's a situation here where there's a woman in your life that is really compassionate and, and understanding and willing. And um, really, the card senses the engagement of, of physical side of things but the queen of cups is really about the compassion and the loving and the understanding from an emotional sense so if he is backing off for that emotional reason then he's got a good partner there to deal with that i think that's where it sits there so we may have a compassionate understanding of 
I want to get to know more of you first before we get back into the physical. I want to stop this physical side, get to know you emotionally, and then it'll, you know, amp up the physical side again. So that's, I feel like there's very, if you're partnered, I feel like there's a very high sense of understanding here between your partner. If you are not, there's an opportunity here for someone who is understanding in that way. Yeah of the phase that you might be going through. So somebody that maybe isn't a partner as of yet, which is a contradiction to the way, the way this card depicts, but that's a sense I'm getting, is that you may not have someone but a potential partner that could be very understanding on an emotional way. The moon finishes out the sex life. So there's some things that are hidden from view. So there's some things I feel like you need to work out. Love who you are. Maybe some of those entanglements of self-worth that you really have to take a break in order to see. And and, and it, it's, it's absolutely focused in the bedroom. Uh, not on the love sector, not on the private. I think for the most part, these men have really got their things together, but there's certain uh, aspects of their... Emo it, I don't know if it's their emotional center or sexual center, but there's something interiorly in a, in a personal relationship way that they are insecure of. They need to balance their own minds about things they haven't looked inward on. So they're they're needing to go inward and look at that and then figure that out. And that, as it sits right now, is a mystery to them. They are seeking it and needing to find it and will unveil it and will get through. At the end of it, you will get rewarded by a partner that is really gratifying in that way, physically and emotionally. So for Virgos, I feel, <clears throat> man, there's a lot of people that just want their space over the summer. Um, Virgos, I think, in a more muted sense. I think the ones that are in relationships, I think they're, they're taking a break and they're obviously, if they've got an understanding partner, I feel like it's been communicated between the, the pair. I feel like everything's on board. And, and it's being understood in a compassionate way and saying, yeah, you know what, we can take a break physically if you just want to rest and, and gather your, you know, gather your thoughts about things. What is it, you know, I'm contributing? What do I want physically? What do I, you know, am I getting it? You know, that kind of a thing. It's just a total understanding that I'm getting from this center card and also a strength that comes from the, the Virgo male going, you know what, this has to be done. I have to look at this. I have to go through this to see where I sit. And then, of course, the moon. This is a little bit of mystery there. And it has to do with definitely going inside and figuring out. And I wouldn't doubt if it's in the sexual center more. You know, what is it that thrills me? Do I know what thrills me? Are we, you know, just kind of taking a, 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 you know, I said autopsy before, but a look at the relationship. And not that there's anything wrong with it. <laughs> There's not anything wrong. It's just it's ch taking a checkpoint to see where I'm at, and that's it. So that's where the Virgo male is at. So for the single uh, people looking for for a Virgo male, I would say that you have to be absolutely genuine, compassionate, and in your heart zone in order to come forward at this point, because it is a very tender time for these Virgos to figure things out. And if you don't want to be pushed aside, I would suggest you have patience in order to come forth. Let, let the man go through his thing. If he is single, he will take his time. And he will go outward when he is ready. And you will know of this, so don't feel like you're going to miss out. Because I think if there's anybody in the path, they will still be on that path when the guy comes out of it, out of his, you know cocoon there. When he figures out what's going on, he's going to be in a mode where everybody's back, everybody's where they were, and he'll just deal with them at, at, at will, and that will be it. So just have my advice for the those looking for Virgo male is to have patience, because he has to have patience with himself, and until he's done, you know, there's there's not much, not much headway you can make. I was hoping that I could give all these, uh, signs you know these good tip but it seems like there's a lot of breaking and taking time to to go over relations and go over themselves and 
and overview everything and in order to do that cleanly and come out on the other end we just have to leave these people alone for the females there's some heartbreak here um, there's a walking away from a lot of work that's been put in so there's a lot of time and patience again that needs to come into these uh, females time over the summer and into the fall one thing I want to say about the female Virgos is you need to be honest and upfront and not take in partners when you truly haven't healed nonetheless this is happening so if you are trying to gain the affections of a Virgo female beware that there can be a broken heart here that needs help mending be sure not to be stomping all over uh, make sure that you are in there and tender and uh, true and not inconsiderate of the person's feelings and just really go in there as if to help them heal from this as in counsel or whatever like if you have that kind of a mode about you where you can let them vent and, and bring out their feelings and are willing to hear that truly from your heart you want to hear where they're at and then offer to do so if you are not it's going to be felt so don't don't come off saying something you don't truly mean if you don't want to hear it then don't ask for it because you will get it uh, and hopefully they do because they need to do a lot of venting so if you are willing to sit on the couch and listen to them go over their relationship that would be of help to them and it would actually put you in a better standing I think if they had a compassionate ear at the end they may come back and say you know I probably shouldn't have done that but thank you for being there and it will gain you some major points in that way because not only will they see their error they really shouldn't have been in a relationship to begin with you know at that point but you will you will have gained rewards for being compassionate you may be able to get through it if you're willing to work hard for it because it's a quite a place that these Virgo females are in so I don't envy anybody in there but nonetheless they're I don't say they're pulling people in but they're definitely there and uh, if you use your intuition this will not be lost on you so hopefully you can get them through that and the males the singles uh, have some some working out to do but the coupled Virgos are doing okay they're just in a different phase in the physical side of things they're having some stuff they need to work out so hopefully for the Virgos that help someone for the fall get some clarity over what they may be going through so in the meantime take care have fun in the time